And I think for now, it's definitely positive news because the rhetoric coming out of the U.S. over the past week um, was definitely suggesting that we could get an intensification of uh, trade or uh, tech wars. So the fact that the two sides have come together, are having a discussion, at least in the short term, uh, it's positive um, because we saw uh, about um, a week ago, uh, dollar CNH was starting to move up. Uh, people were building in expectations that uh, the trade war side could turn a little bit more negative. So uh, this development today uh, is at least uh, positive in the short term, and it keeps the uh, CNY as an anchor uh, for the region, and it's consistent with our expectation of the currency being fairly stable this year between 705 and 710. 705 and 710. Yesterday, the futures, the one-year forwards for the yuan, was on the verge of touching a level of 7.20, and that's where most of the bearish bets on the yuan are positioned. You think that this call would help bring about more stability in the currency? Um, I do. As our base case, we don't think uh, trade wars will uh, escalate all that much uh, this year. There's obviously, you know, many, many different risk scenarios. We think it's challenging for uh, the U.S. to uh, possibly, you know, exit a phase one trade deal and implement uh, more tariffs given that growth is weak. But we are, you know, in an election year and uh, anything is feasible. But, uh, you know, there are risk scenarios. Yes, if, it's, if a phase one deal did um, uh, unravel, then there is the potential for a more negative outcome, uh, but we think um, that's probably unlikely.